Crooked Hillary and Crazy Megyn Kelly only prepared us for what was to come. That was candidate Trump on social media. America would soon discover that Twitter for Donald Trump is more than a tool used to sway undecided voters or fire up his base. Fake news, a total political witch hunt. This hashtag fake news has been recently named by Collins Dictionary as its word of the year for 2017. It might be seen as a small win for the president over mainstream media outlets, but on July 2nd, President Trump wasn't seeking a small win. He was posting for a knockout against the same network he branded a faux news organization. That video has since then been removed from Twitter, but served as red meat for Trump's supporters. As did his unrelenting pursuit of NFL players refusing to stand for the U.S. national anthem. If NFL fans refuse to go to games until players stop disrespecting our flag and country, you will see change take place fast. Fire or suspend. Just some advice coming from a president who uttered you're fired countless times as a reality TV star. You're fired. Doing it for television rating is one thing, but doubling down as commander-in-chief through social media requires a special skill, especially after you fire your FBI director. Comey will be replaced by someone who will do a far better job. And speaking of doing your job better, here's what the president tweeted the day after his former chief strategist Steve Bannon said farewell to the White House. Steve Bannon will be a tough and smart new voice at Breitbart News, maybe even better than ever before. Fake news needs the competition. When it comes to announcing policy in 140 characters or less, there is no competition. On July 26, the president tweeted, After consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. A consultation? This tweet obviously caught Pentagon officials off guard. And the president clearly did not consult his Secretary of State before posting. I told Rex Tillerson, our wonderful Secretary of State, that he is wasting his time trying to negotiate with Little Rocket Man. And wasting time is something that this president has shown he doesn't do. Why make official announcements on POTUS crafted by some White House official when you can reel Donald Trump it instead? Like when he picked a side in the Gulf crisis between Qatar and its Arab neighbors, tweeting on June 6th. During my recent trip to the Middle East, I stated that there can no longer be funding of radical ideology. Leaders pointed to Qatar. Look. We are looking every day. To be precise, 5.5 times a day. With almost 42 million followers and 36,000 tweets, President Trump has a solid answer to those criticizing his tweeting habits. And it's not Kofifi. My use of social media is not presidential. It's modern-day presidential. Tal Heinrich, I-24 News.